So today we're gonna talk about 2023 skincare trends and I will also make it serious so it's gonna be a part one and I'll also be doing my favorite skincare routine with you guys. Hey guys! Long time no see and I'm so happy to be here and I was on the ski vacation with my family and it was amazing guys. Sorry, I'm just too excited to be, <laughs> to be back here. And if you wanna know how to save your skin during ski vacation, watch one of my latest reels. I will leave the link here, here, and in the description, of course. And let's start. And guys, I also have my new jewelry today. I got a present from Lily Luisa, and I got the pair of earrings. I actually am very in love with them because they they're like crazy, they're reflecting the light and it's so beautiful. Uh, also the necklace and the ring. And in case you like this, I have a discount code for you guys and the link. And I will leave both in the description. And these links are affiliate, so this means I'm getting this small commission when you buy something from their website using my code. But there is no price change for you whatsoever, so enjoy and no pressure. Do you feel it too, guys? Like we are slowly moving towards simplicity, minimalism. Like during quarantine, we were very into the 12 step Korean skincare routine, which actually got many of us into skincare. I am very happy about this because, like, before quarantine, I was like the only skincare lover in my city. Of course, there are people who love skincare and exaggerating. <laughs> but now there are so much more people loving skincare as I do and I'm so happy about this <laughs> but now yeah quarantine is over and we all gotta work we all gotta do things outside and go outside because we can now so many of us have less time for skincare now many of us have all the time in the world for skincare like me <laughs> I'm joking. I don't have much time. I have a two-year-old at home. So yeah, we are slowly moving towards simplicity and minimalism and skincare minimalism is gonna be a huge trend in 2023, guys. Trust me and let's talk about this. And I am gonna go and cleanse my face with the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser first because every good skincare starts from cleansing. I actually started to fall in love with CeraVe this winter because I haven't used uh, CeraVe cleansers before. I've used their lotions and the lotion is great, uh, but I haven't tried their cleansers and they are very, very basic, but I love the, uh, but I love the hydrating one because it's hydrating one. <laughs> You know, it's very dry and winter here because we have heating on and my nose is literally bleeding sometimes, so yeah. <laughs> I gotta use all the hydration I can get, so I'm using the hydrating cleanser, but there is one downside. If, you're, if you are wearing makeup or sunscreen, it won't cleanse them, so you are gonna... So you have to use double cleansing and... That is actually the best way to cleanse your face, to double cleanse. So yeah, I'm gonna go and cleanse my face. So... so guys, I'm gonna start with the Cozarex Little Mucin Essence and it's actually my white or die. I love this product, I love it to the moon and back and it's with me everywhere. It's with me on vacation. I'm everywhere. <laughs> and I'm usually using like two or three pumps. If I use my jade roller, for example, uh, I actually have the rose quartz roller. And if I use this, I use four pumps. And if I'm just working with my hands, and guys, don't forget to bring your skincare to your neck. And be gentle and I'm using two pumps right now so I really love snail mucin because it's hydrating and you need all the hydration during winter and in the summer too but especially during winter my skin is suffering if we don't use all the hydrating serums I've got and I will probably never get tired of it and why is this that good? <laughs> it contains snail mucin essence and snail mucin essence is amazing for hydrating your skin, your face and look at this glow. 
It's like I have been sleeping for 10 hours, guys, which I obviously not. <laughs> I, I haven't been sleeping for like two years. So, so guys, do you know what makes a perfect skincare routine, quality or quantity? And does it mean that if I use like only three step skincare routine, does it mean that I'm lazy and I don't want to take care of my skin and my routine is bad? Of course not. <laughs> of course not. There is no such thing as perfect skincare routine, guys, because it's still your skin. Only you know how to take care of your skin. Only, only you know how it reacts to certain products. For example, the ordinary peeling, it says one to two times per week. And maybe for some people, two times a week is great. Yeah, once a week is great, but maybe for you is it's too much and you can use it only every other week and it's okay it's perfect schedule for your skin it's a perfect skincare routine for you so yeah there is no rules in skincare that you absolutely must follow there is no such thing as skincare police which will come to your home and ask have you cleansed this evening have you put your sunscreen in the morning <laughs> okay, there is no such things, but if you want to take care of your skin, if you want to take care of yourself, there are some recommendations you can follow, like cleanse at least once a day, preferably in the evening, moisturize and use a sunscreen on a daily basis, all year round. And that's it. That's a perfect skincare for you. The skincare that works for you is a perfect skincare for you. And now, guys, I'm going to be using the Pure Vita Centel Unscented Serum. I am sorry. Okay. I'm gonna use the Purina Centella Unscented Serum, and usually I am using I'm using it only, and usually I'm using it only in my nighttime skincare. But since we are skincareing together, I'm gonna use this too. Yeah, it's my morning skincare routine. It's like 10 or 11 a.m. 11. Yeah, and I'm using two pumps on this. And I like it so much. Another right of dye for me, and I'm using it already for three years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Centella Asiatica is actually my favorite skincare ingredient, and I really, really love everything with Centella Asiatica. Everything. And yeah, Centella is great for the skin barrier, for healing, and it's also anti inflammatory, so it's great for acne and it's any inflammation you have going on here. <laughs> so let's talk about minimalism now. Uh, for me, minimalism is to choose the quality over quantity. So, for example, you are using the hyaluronic acid serum, you are using the niacinamide serum, and you use a moisturizer with those two ingredients in it. So, is there actually points in <laughs> those two serums? Not really, because you are just layering the same ingredients into one another, and yeah, it's a waste. And probably you should just stick to your moisturizer, you'll still be getting those benefits from the niacinamide and hyaluronic acid because it contains them, and you can invest in some serums which have more active ingredients in them, for example, either a snail mucin essence or the centella serum, because it has like centella, peptides, niacinamide, <laughs> literally every product has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide inside, so why? <laughs> so let's put the moisturizer because my face is <laughs> starting to dry. So I'm gonna be using the Bioma moisturizing gel cream with three ceramide complex, niacinamide, niacinamide, and I'm pretty sure it contains hyaluronic acid also, and green tea as an antioxidant. And I actually fall in love with gels, guys. I haven't been using gels at all in my life. I was also going, I was always going for like rich creams because I have combination skin, but my cheeks are very dry. So I am like suffering from oily T zone, but I'll be better suffering from oily T-zone or from dehydrated skin so I haven't even like watched <laughs> so I haven't even looked at like gel moisturizers because I knew they won't hydrate my skin so it becomes dehydrated and 
I like it. <laughs> but this one, it's actually hydrating it pretty well. And actually, I love using this moisturizer, this gel moisturizer. If I'm using like two serums, like today, if I use two serums plus a rich moisturizer, I will end up all greasy. So I am doing this only in my nighttime routine because who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I need all the hydration during the night. So I even put Vaseline sometimes if I feel like extra dry. So yeah, I use this in the morning and if I use two serums, I use this one. If I use just one serum, uh, I use the Purina one, which is a bit more rich than this one. And I really like height. Uh, and I really like how hydrating it actually is. I am very surprised that gel moisturizer can be this hydrating. So guys, if you haven't checked this uh, brand, check it out. I also have their serum, but I haven't uh, tried it yet because I'm waiting till I finish just one of those. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about overconsumption. It's huge problem right now because we have bloggers, skincare blogger because we have skincare bloggers on TikTok, on Instagram, on YouTube and I understand that you want to try all the products your favorite blogger loves and I do too and I like hold myself no, no, no buying, please so yeah, I am really holding myself because like two years ago I used to buy a lot I used to buy a lot of skincare my skincare drawer, uh, drawer was like... <laughs> it's huge and yeah guys, it's not really okay because most of those skincare products will end up in a trash because they will go bad before you even like, reach them. Uh, because yeah, you know, you have a new product, you open it, you try it once, but you have like 20 other products. So you are going to use one product today, one product tomorrow, and most of those products go to the trash like more than half full because we are not we just can't finish them before uh, they go bad especially with vitamin c and retinol yeah and which is also a huge problem is the side effects you get from all those skincare products because if you have 20 products versus if you have two products there is <laughs> there is huge risk to get side effects irritation peeling burning sensation because not every one of us knows how to layer skincare right how to mix skincare right and yeah if you have this serum with multiple ingredients you know that skincare specialists skincare chemists they know about each ingredient in this and this will work great for your skin altogether but if you mix like retinol and acid and something else like vitamin c the result won't be good, but not every person thinks about this because it's like skincare products, it's not drugs or anything, it's not even Odyssey medicine, it's just cosmetics. But still, acids are very potent ingredients, as are retinoids, and you need to know how to use those ingredients first, then use them. So let's make 2023 a year when we buy and use our products consciously, when we learn about the ingredients we're using, what products we're using, when we choose quality or quantity, when we take care of our skin, when we take care of our body and yeah, oh, <laughs> ourselves and our body and yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I know what you're thinking about. I haven't used the sunscreen. And yes, this is true. I'm gonna be using the Beauty of Josen sunscreen. And I'm gonna do it downstairs because I forgot my skin. Uh, because I forgot my sunscreen downstairs. And my time is running. <laughs> my time is running out. So I'm gonna have to say thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like this one. And please subscribe to this channel if you like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.